Hi, my name is Jackie and I'm 26 years old. I am happily married to an amazing godly man named Emilio and together we are blessed to have two gorgeous boys. Our oldest son is Emilio IV and our youngest is Elijah and he's one. On April 27th, I heard some of the scariest words of my entire life. Um, those words were, you have cancer and it was probably the most devastating news me and my family could have ever gotten. And I was trying to be so strong to not show a single emotion, but at the same time, I was just so nervous, hoping no one around me could tell. I'm terrified <laughs> of how my body will react to the treatment. I'm scared my children will fear their mommy because of how you know, she's gonna begin to look. I'm scared to look in the mirror and not see me anymore. I'm just kind of scared to be broken. God sees the broken rose, and most importantly, he smells the aroma of my broken heart and soul. And it is just as if I were washing his feet with the most expensive perfume. My heart was rejoicing because I knew at that very moment he had picked me up and began to mend me. Exactly two weeks after my first round of chemotherapy, um, I had noticed my hair starting to fall out. It was exactly what doctors had said. Um, it was day 14, and I remember running my fingers through my hair and just kind of being traumatized by this entire ordeal that my hand came back full of strands of hair and so I kind of was in denial and went and stroked my head again and saw more hair. Thankfully, my thoughts at that moment were instantly taken over by the Holy Spirit. And the sweet voice of God just said to me, the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid, you are more valuable to me than a whole flock of sparrows. I was so comforted by God at that moment Feeling renewed by God, I knew that it was time for the big shave. I'm surrounded by my family. My husband, Emilio, is ready as he can be because he's actually doing the honors of shaving my head. Um, not because I was losing my hair, but because of why I was losing my hair is why this day was so emotional. My hair has always been my shield. As I lose my hair now, I feel as if I'm losing my shield. My shield in beauty, my shield in the inevitable mean comments of the world, and ultimately my shield from my disease. If you think about it, I'm now unprotected from the eyes of the world. Up to this point, people will look at me and have no idea that I was ill, but now my disease is evident. It's gonna be uncovered. I remember my husband reassuring me the entire time as he cut my hair that I was beautiful. Yet he was so sad and softly said to me, I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you from this pain. I opened my eyes to a head with no hair, looking into the mirror in front of me as Emilio embraced me in his arms. And suddenly something happened inside of me. I was shaken to my core as if I had been touched by the arms of an angel. At that very moment, I noticed I had been wearing the wrong armor all along. And with a smile on my face, my family by my side, I was now suited up in the correct armor for my next fight. And I had the strongest armor of all. I had my shield of faith. So here I am and I'm walking into this gorgeous venue. There's dresses ready for me to try on. I can see Christina is so excited to begin my makeup and Jessica and Susan are in the background just smiling so big. I remember sitting in the makeup chair and just thinking, God, please let this makeup artist be incredible because I have no hair and 
we have to draw some attention off of my head. And so I kind of giggled to myself and said, God, you say that I am beautiful. You say that I am fearfully made in your image. So God, I ask that you help me to believe that right now at this moment. I no longer looked in the mirror and wanted something else. I no longer desired something I didn't have. That day of my photo shoot, I looked in the mirror and I thanked God for who he made me to be. It was such a wonderful experience for me that day that I got photographed. And man, it was so much fun. I just couldn't believe how much fun and how much love and how beautiful I felt having the makeup done and the photographs taken of me with no hair literally the day after I got my head shaved was probably the biggest breakthrough for me in this entire experience. I never would have thought I would have just had the courage to stand out and I never would have thought how beautiful I felt and looked that day. What that day did for me was just remove my insecurities that were standing in front of me. My insecurities regarding beauty, my insecurities regarding my self-worth. That day just kind of took it away. It took away all of my insecurities and it reminded me that with or without hair or tall or short, black or white, that whoever you are, you are created in the Lord's image. You are fearfully made and God loves you. And that is the biggest thing that happened to me that day. I felt the tremendous love of Christ. I felt it through the care and tenderness of these beautiful women that surrounded me that day. And I knew that at that moment, God was looking straight at my soul. And so I smiled. I smiled because I believed I was fearfully and wonderfully made in his image.